Hello YouTube, this is Ricky coming back uh, to you with another humidor tour. This is more of an update of uh, what I'm working with for this summer. I think the last time I posted was about 10 months ago. And I just wanted to show you where I was at. Um, some things were added, some things were smoked. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to get too in-depth today. I'm going to try to keep the video short because I do have some things to do. But I did want to make an update. Um because I love cigars and I love this hobby and I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that do and a lot of you that uh, that skim YouTube and like to look at other cigars and things of that matter. So today I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to go with the, um, the humidor that I uh, save for not special occasions but my better smokes, uh, things of that, and then we'll work our way back. Um, so I will start here and... Uh, in case anybody was wondering what I look like, hello. I don't know if you could see me. Hello. Just a regular dude. Anywho, uh, we'll start over to on the right. Um, on this side, I have a couple of Atabe. Um, these are the Spiritus, uh, which are like their Lancero uh, option. I haven't had an Atabe yet, but I was told that they're kind of like a Vahike. Um, they're undisclosed filler wrapper binder, um, or maybe the wrapper was disclosed, but they're pretty, uh, they're still secretive cigars, which makes them desirable, I guess. I don't know if they're worth the $30. We shall see. Now, I do have these um, Illusiones. I have two of them in Lentaro as well. Um, the wrapper on this one at the bottom by the foot, not in great condition. I haven't had any of these yet, but I'd like to get into those as well. They've been in my humidor for a little while now. Um, and moving on, I have um, the Wise Man. I believe this is Natural, also Lancero. Um, I have a uh, Arturo Fuente Añejo. Um, if you can see, this says Christmas 14. Um, so the story behind this is, uh, I met a guy online, that sounds creepy, and, um, we, he had a bunch of cigars, and, you know, he couldn't smoke all his cigars, so he's had cigars that have been sitting since Christmas of 2014, a lot of Fuentes and good cigars of that kind. Uh, I no longer talked to that gentleman, um, but, uh, I did clean half of his stash out. Uh, before we decided to part ways, um, you know, just bet, just miscommunication, uh, on both our ends, and we just stopped talking. But anyway, he also uh, I got a Casa Cuba from him. I got a few of these. I did smoke one of these. These are really good. I also smoked the Añejos. Uh, they're they're delicious. Uh, I'm sure anybody can uh, vouch to that. I do have the uh, Eye of the Shark. Don Carlos, Eye of the Shark. Haven't smoked it yet. Only have one of these. Um, I actually just picked these up recently. I have three of the Padron 50 Year uh, in natural. And my camera's not the best. Yeah, it's not going to focus. Um, yeah. These are good. Uh... I'm not 100% happy. I did get these from an online store. I'm not 100% happy with uh, the wrapper leaf on this. Um, the other two look a little bit better. That's kind of the worst one out of the three. But um, it's not really about what they look like. It's how they smoke uh, over here. Don't want to skip it. I have another Añejo, uh, different size. Um, I have part of the collection I... Got from my One Connection, uh, UF-13. It looks very old. Um, I haven't smoked it yet. I only have one of it. Um, I believe it came with a pigtail, but it's no longer there. Uh, it's just sitting in my humidor for uh, a rainy day, and I heard they are scrummed and liumptious. Huh. Uh, I got a T-52 in my hand. Um, I've had this. I got this from a shop, and uh, I've had one before, and... I can't wait to smoke it. Uh, hiding in the corner over here. I got this from a online real uh, retail 
store and it is a Lancero Tabernacle. I have yet to have a Tabernacle. Um, this one's also a little, oh, it's hard to see with the band on, but it's a little bent in from left to right. Um, but I'm sure, I mean, I don't know, it's a Lancero. So well, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, moving on down here. Oh, let's see. You guys are on a tripod type situation. Uh, I do have a bunch of Liga 9s down here. This is a Toro Liga 9, um, a Corona Viva, which is my favorite size for any cigar. I know they do vary per taste, per size, um, but Corona Viva for size, mouthfeel, length, and t smoke time. Uh, it is my favorite size compared to a Toro uh, and a Robusto. I don't have any. I do have um, a couple Bellicosos down here, which are very similar in size as well. More to a Toro, but with that a um, little bit of difference there at the end. So can't wait to smoke those. I know those were a good grab. I grabbed them recently as well, so I'm gonna let them sit in there for a while. Um, and then moving on, I don't know if these were my last video. Probably not, because they came with the Arturo Fuente guy. Um, sorry, I see a little hair in there. <laughs> um, these are a Chapman Half Coronas. I had a bunch of them. I have about three left. I did have four. I just gave one to my father. They're a nice little short smoke uh, of Cuban descent. Um, as I go on, I'm not going to question any of the authenticity of my cigars, uh, whether they be Cuban or uh, what have you. Um, moving on, I do have uh, some more Cubans over here. Uh, I have a couple of these uh, number 50 uh, Quadorces, Diorce. I'm not really uh, into Cubans too much. I did just find a guy, and he hooked me up with a few Cubans, and we're uh, part of a group now, or I'm part of the group now on uh, Facebook. I don't know if it's a secret group or not, but um, I have yet to try any of his stuff that he sent me. I've got them recently, so... Uh, oh, well, seven minutes. Okay, I'll try to speed it up here for you. I do have about two of those. I have, um, and you guys could tell me down in the comments what you think about these. I'm pretty sure they're real. I've done my research, um, and uh, they seem real to me. Uh, these Partaguses. Um, I have another uh, H. Upman, but this is Edición Limitada, 2018. Um, Cuban boy. Trying to show the caps on there. Um, this one, this color is different than all my other, uh, um, Cuban colors, cigars that I have, but this is a Monte Cristo, um, this is also, this is not from my new Cuban guy. This is from or Arturo Fuente guy. It came with the, uh, those cigars and the half Corona or the, uh, yeah, the half Corona H. Upman's. So, uh, I'm not sure about the authenticity of this as well. Maybe somebody in the, um, uh, comments section could tell me, um, Lastly, on this row, I do have a Cohiba Siglio 4. I can't get the cap in there. It's going to be a long video. I'm sorry. They are triple capped. I, I just wanted to make a point of that. Who knows? Um, I forgot. I skipped this. This is a M Bombay uh, Gaia Gaish Gaj. I think it's a Gaia. 
haven't smoked this yet. It just looked really cool. Uh, and it was a fair price for the uh, cigar online. So I got it. Pretty cigar. Uh, all right, let me move on here quickly and I'll clean up later. I'm pretty sure I nailed everything on this top row. Um, and I'll try to speed up a little bit now. Oops, sorry, I mean to bang you guys around. All right, so moving on in here, let me see if I can get a better view here. Yeah, it's decent. Okay, so on this side that you can't see, I just have a few um, of these Undercrown Maduros. They're really good from Drew Estate. I have these uh, Southern Draw. I love the Southern Draw. I'm not scared to admit that I am a Connecticut fan. I like the darker stuff. I like the medium-bodied stuff. I like all the stuff. So you can say whatever you want. Um, Southern Draw, the Rose of Sharon. Uh, I like the Toro mostly. I did find this in what you would consider, I guess, a Lancero type. It does have a little pigtail on it. Got a good deal on it. Uh, yeah, Lancero. Single cigar. Beautiful, beautiful taste on this cigar. I always suggest it uh, for my friends who don't want to smoke a Romeo and Julieta, but want to try some different type of lighter cigar. Oh, here we go. I have uh, the Toro down here. I haven't tried the uh, the one that came out after it. I forget what it's called. Something Desert Rose, I believe. I was told that they're... Eh. I see, I see. I do have uh, two of these uh, Placencia Amafuertes. They're not in a cool size. Um, I believe I got them off of Cigar Bit, believe it or not. I think I got them for 10 bucks each. Um, and they're like a Robusto size. Uh, I've been told that they're delicious and nutritious, so can't wait to try those out. Um, as you can see, going along with uh, everything, mostly everything on the right side, uh, including these guys right here and some on that side. I'll, I, I won't say where they're from anymore, but for the most part, a lot of the scars on the right that are Toro Fuente are from um, the gentleman that I met online, Stash. So they do have a good amount of age on them. Um, I believe this is a Hemingway. Uh, I could be wrong. A lot of the Fuentes look similar. Uh, I believe this is just a regular um, um, Grand Reserva. This is a short story uh, of some sort. Um, yeah, This is uh, something that I can't wait to try. Um, I believe this is the Magnum, uh, not the Magnum, but this is the, uh, Rosada one, or I could be wrong. Hold on. Let me check here. No, this is the Rosada one right here. Sorry. The Rosado Grand Reserva. Uh, I'm not exactly sure the one to the right is, but, um, I just have a lot of these Fuente cigars that I can't wait to try. Um, one of my favorite cigars is the 858 Maduro. Very cheap, reasonable stick, and it tastes delicious. Um... Moving on, I have some more Fuente. Let's see, here we go. Just a regular uh, 858. That's probably top five for me right here. I know it's kind of basic, but I kind of like kind of basic. Uh, another one of these. Let's see. Leave V, Milanio. Can't go wrong with that. Um, I just got this for really, really cheap on cigar bed it's a tatawahe miami it's a huge stogie figured i'd smoke it sometime this summer um let's see i got a few more uh what am i looking for i don't know where the other one is um i have these lfd taa um i didn't buy it for that i got it from a guy um, more LFD right here. These Lancero boys, these, uh, ca Cameroon cabinet. I love a Cameroon wrapper. I know they're, uh, some people do, some people don't. I do. Can't wait to try those. Um, some Headley Grange. These are in Lancero as well. Can't wait to try one of those. These are more of my, um, I already showed you those. Let's see, I have a uh, Four Kicks. 
I don't know what size this is. It's not a Lancero. Um, number five. Haven't had a four kicks yet. Heard they're good. Here's the other LFD I was looking for. Same thing, TAA, 17th. I don't know if anybody's had one of these. You can let me know about them. Put it in the comment section below. I'm interested. Uh, more of these Illusiones. Um, not super familiar. These are the 888s. I'm not super familiar with the brand. I haven't smoked a lot of them, but I've heard good things. Um, and I got these along with the Fuente guy. Sorry I keep knocking you guys around. I'm a jerk. Um, and one more Fuente. I believe that's another Hemingway. Um, on the left side over here, I have a lot of my father. This is a uh, Don Pepin Blue. They're always good. Um, I have a couple of these Tatuaje, these black labels. Um, I've had one they are really good. Um, this little guy, I forget the name of it. It is so good. This cigar must have been, I mean, I got it from the same guy. Probably aged for a few years, so it probably cooled down a bit. It's like a closed foot type situation. Quick smoke. Delicious. Cannot say anything bad about it. Uh, more Don Pepin. Haven't had any of these yet. Uh, also got these with the Arturo Fuente guy. These are from 2016. Her Esteli by Drew Estate. I'm sure they're great. Anything Drew Estate makes uh, are good. I've had... Uh, I got a fiver of these, and I smoked four of them, or I might have gave one away. I feel... Too many cigars away. I just like um, Giver. I just like to... I'm sure people in the comment section are going to say, you know, I'll take some. Uh, probably, the sad part is I'll probably give them to you because I just love this hobby and I, I like, you know, when other people are interested. Um, this was a great cigar. This is um, the Petite Double Wide Short Churchill. I love the name of this size. Uh, Long Live the King by Caldwell. Right? Am I right? I think I'm right. Um, great smoke. Here's a little Padron. Um, not bad. I haven't had this yet. Uh, probably just a little cigar big pickup for cheap. Um, not the same as the other Herrera Estelis, but I haven't given that one a go yet. Now, these I got a bunch of, and they... Are tasty. These are the twelve uh, age twelve years. It has uh, notes on the side, tasting notes. Uh, it says a, a smooth smoke with a natural sweet complexity, hints of dark cocoa and coffee with a rich robust finish. Um, and it's awesome. My girlfriend really really enjoys the uh, band on here, and um, I really enjoy the aroma. So. That was a cool little pickup I grabbed from my guy. So besides the 12 years, I'm sure it was aged another four or five years, and it's been sent in my humidor for at least uh, almost another year. Um, and now just uh, the classic My Father. I believe the first cigar I've ever smoked was um, – it was either the New World by AJ or um, or this one. I remember picking them up with my, with my personal father <laughs> – and uh, we were in South Philly, and we were picking up cigars uh, at the shop. Um, I think we were in Philly. Uh, we live in Jersey, but I think we were on the other side of the bridge. We picked up cigars, and these were included. Not these exact ones, but my father, uh, Le Beijou. I heard that, you know, uh, it was right around the time when it won Cigar of the Year in 2017 or 16. And I went out with my father, my personal father, <laughs> And uh, grabbed a couple, including A New World by AJ and uh, what was uh, Perla Del Mar, the Connecticut ones. You know, just su uh, suggestions by the shop owner, and they were all good smokes. A um, little robust for my f for uh, a starting palate, but it really got me in a cigar, so maybe not. Uh, La Promesa, haven't tried that yet. Um, these are always good smokes. I have a bunch of these as well. These uh, La Antiguidad. Um, I probably sound like a fanook saying some of these words, but uh, whatever. Uh, 
So that's that. I'm going to have to clean up here. Let me see if I can, uh, I'm not going to attempt to pause this. I'm just going to keep it running in one shot because I'm not the kind of guy who's going to do all the editing and stuff. I'm just going to put this right up on my channel, shooting right from my iPhone. Uh, I'm just going to move on. I'm not going to go in depth here because I already made a 20 minute video and I tried, I was going to try to do it in 10 and I suck. Um, oh man, the smell on this is just phenomenal. So anyway, this is my bin full of cigars. Um, I did have a bunch of those 50 count wooden humidors and I still do. Um, I took them out of those because they just weren't holding and these plastic ones just hold so well. I don't know why they just do. I have a bunch of uh, wood pieces in the bottom and bovita throughout um, and I'm not like I said I'm not going to get too into this but let me see I'll pull you guys off here I'll just show you these are a lot of uh, pickups from the store this is ShopRite cigar haven't had one of these I was just in ShopRite the other day I figured I'd pick it up I got 10 of these for right around 30 something dollars on cigar but I don't know if I could say that and get copyrighted or whatever but I always suggest that shop you just wait look at the um the free fall stuff just take your time be patient wait and it'll go down pretty darn low and uh at three dollars a stick you can't beat these for um, a really nice connecticut shade cigar i still have a butt ton of fratellos um <laughs> i don't talk like that for real in real life i just like to say that um be like a silly guy anyway um just a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to get too crazy in here. I got Law 23s. I have a bunch of uh, regular Prensados and Lost Arts in here. Um, Romeo and Julietas. There's On the bottom, there's a lot of 1875s, um, as you can see, and uh, Reserva, Reserva Reals. Uh, I have a huge collection of CAO, uh, Brazil, America, um, all that good stuff. Um, this is Alec Bradley Tempest. I have, I just got stuff. Um, and these are cigars, like, when I'm not in the mood to smoke anything crazy. Maybe I know I'm going to put it out quick or, you know, I'm just not, in the, my girlfriend's not in the mood and you know, whatever. So I just grab a quick one that I'm willing to part with if I have to and also give away. Figured out my friend, my longtime friend uh, from back home, uh, started collecting cigars. So I sent him a whole bunch of cigars, a couple good ones, and a couple from this box. And, you know, a couple here, a couple there. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to finish out. This will be quick with my last little box here. Um, and this are just some box stuff in here. I have my, uh, I call it my chocolate box. And when I open it up, it just, whoop, when I open it up, it just smells like straight dessert. It smells like chocolate, uh, Hershey's chocolate. Um, just my infused stuff. A lot of it's running out. I have friends that like the hobby, but they're mainly into this, which is fine. I like them now and then. Sometimes I'm in the mood for a flavored stick, you know? I don't knock it. I like these uh, Javas right here. These are my thing when I'm in the mood, when I'm feeling it. Uh, so I have those, um, a couple of these little guys for when I'm feeling those too. Uh, these are pretty good. I smoked most of them. These, uh, not so much, but these are good. Um, I'll save that for later. Um, I just opened these up. This one, this one, and the one on the bottom. I just opened up to get some air. Um, but I had them all sealed as of a couple days ago. Um, I got good deals on these. I heard bad things about the Julius Caesar, but it is a, uh, a uh, Fuente made cigar and the Diamond Crown in there. I'll show you an open one, I guess. Um, there we go. So we have the uh, Diamond Crown Maximus, uh, Julius Caesar, Diamond Crown, uh, Maduro, I believe, and I don't know number. F well, I don't know what number this is. Uh, but I did notice something kind of funny. I don't know if it'll pick up. 
I gotta see if I can find it. I'm pretty sure I... Okay, there's no way. I feel like there's a little bit of plume on these. I could be just be seeing things. I've had them for a little bit. Um, these I just opened up as well. I just cracked the seal. I haven't even gotten into them. Um, this was a mistake. I got two boxes of these by mistake. Um, Cigar International sent me. And what am I going to do? Not smoke them? Send them back? I did go through one box of these. The 64s, they're not the 26s. Um, they're freaking good, though, man. I know, you know, the 26 is, is the one, but 1964, I, I don't know. I haven't had a 26 yet, so I guess we'll see. This was just sealed a couple days ago. Um, I don't know if you really signed this or not, uh, but it is really nice. Um, these are the Siri JJ. Um, beautiful sticks right there. They're big. They are... Uh, Seven by 57, seven and a quarter, seven and a half, seven and a quarter. Look at this big mofo. I haven't had one of these yet. Well, obviously, I'll probably get into that going down for a uh, trip soon. Probably get into that. Uh, and lastly, 25 minutes in, 26 minutes in, I'll finish on this. Once again, I don't know if it's real. I got it from not my current guy, but my old guy, my um, my Arturo Fuente guy. I called him this whole uh, this whole time. Uh, this Partagas Culebra. I think that's what they're called. Culebras. So I don't know if anybody can tell. Obviously, this is a video, a shitty quality one at that. Um, there ain't no shame in my game, though. You could tell me what, what's the deal, yo. I, I, I bought them thinking they're real, so I'm going to assume it's real. The wood smells real. <laughs> um, and there, this is just something cool to just show cigar lovers. Um, not saying it can't be smoked one day, but... It's not going to be smoked anytime soon unless I find a good reason to. Maybe 10 months later when I uh, come back with another video. Uh, something to look forward to in the future. God, I know this is a long-ass video. I'm sorry. You're going to have to play it at fast speed. Speed it up. I planned on 10 minutes, 15 tops, and I do apologize. Um, I am still in the market for Opus X. Uh, I do... I just found this guy, and uh, he, he's... Now my Cuban guy for now, and uh, I've been trying to get my Cuban game up. Um, I do have a site that um, has Opus. They're available pretty frequently, and uh, they have, like, the Opus 6 sets and things like that. I'm considering getting one of those. It's just a lot of money, $270, $300 uh, for, for six cigars. They have the, you know, the BBMFs that are $80, $100 sticks. So, you know, it's not that they're not available. It's just I, I, I don't know. I, I like a good cigar. I do have cigars that are worth some money. Um, I have other hobbies, though, and um, so I'm considering it. But other than that, that's everything. I'm going to put everything back now and uh, just a little under a half hour. Um, if there's anything you guys want to say to me, please say it in the comments. Feel free to say anything, suggestions. Uh, what's your favorite cigar? Uh, what are you smoking today? Uh, what do you want to see? Um, I can maybe do reviews. I don't know. I think my palate's pretty good. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to keep collecting, keep smoking, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.